things that I love most about teaching here is is the relationship that I form with my students. Um, being such a small space, having a class of 12 students, um, it's really hard to hide and it's really hard to not be known by your teachers. And so as a teacher, one of the great things about that is actually getting to know my students. And so um, whether that's because they've come by to get extra help um, on something, whether it's because they've stopped at the end of class because something that I said piqued their interest. We end up having these impromptu conversations that are really, I think, some of the way in which we form um, the long-lasting relationships that we have with our students. Okay, so I, I think what really stands out for the Commonwealth Science Curriculum and, and really any curriculum here is that the teachers are really uh, engaged in their subject and I'm, I, I always think that the teachers are way overqualified for being a high school teacher. You can tell even if it, if say, chemistry isn't your favorite class, you know it's your teacher's favorite class and they're, they're very interested in what they're teaching about. It makes it very hard not to be inspired. A lot of people when they think about chemistry and they think about their own high school experience in chemistry, um, or they hear the word chemistry, um, have all kinds of images that come into their minds, uh, either of awful teachers they had, or awful experiences, or terrible smells, or this horrible thing on the wall that, that I think is possibly the most beautiful thing, the periodic table. And I think part of the association that often happens is that, that students uh, or people, the way that chemistry is often taught, come away from a course thinking that all they've had to do is learn and memorize a whole bunch of information. And so I think my approach in teaching chemistry is to say that chemistry is really not about memorization. It's not about um, learning facts and learning equations. Um, it's really learning something about the world at a molecular scale and trying to understand how we put the pieces together and how we understand how they go together to produce these objects that we uh, see on a macroscopic scale.